This is our boat, a beautiful 2008 Beneteau 49. And this is the hole in the bottom of our boat, where our keel used to be. We had to remove our keel after a hard grounding sprung a few leaks around the keel bolts, and potentially trash the hole. With a bit of drama... Found some fiberglass. Okay, a lot of drama. Wow, it ripped out the pocket. All right. The keel came off, taking a big chunk of the hole, and the bilge pump sump box in its entirety. With the keel out of the way, we dove into the massive structural repairs on the inside. All the while, the keel sat, day and night, rain and heat, slowly rusting away, patiently waiting for us to finish up and give it some love. Today is Shaquille Day. How's it going, Shaquille? My name is Brett, and this is my wife, Jade. Together, we set a goal, to sail around the world. We went minimalist and drastically downsized. We played hard and worked even harder. We saved everything we could, gained a wealth of experience, a deep love of the ocean, and two adventure dogs. It took a while, but we just found our dream boat, and just the way we wanted it, wrecked. Subscribe and join us as we put her back together and set off on our greatest expedition yet. In our last episode, we rested up at Brett's work training, and now we are ready to dive back into the boat work. If you've been enjoying our videos, please consider subscribing. It's free, and we really appreciate it. We're back. Back to the boat. Back to this chaos in here. When we left, we just threw everything in here. We cleaned off the deck and underneath the boat and just threw it in here because we had to go and we just wanted it all to be safe. But now it's a disaster. We need to do a lot of work today. We're going to be grinding underneath. We need to grind the keel, but we need to get all of the tools that we need out of here so we can use them. So Jade went to grab some gloves so we can start grabbing our extension cords and grinders and start getting to work. Look what Brett found. Medium sized gloves. I'm so excited about it. Very, very excited to have nitrile gloves in a medium. It's the little things. <laughs> How about I go up there and you hand me some? I think that's a swell idea. <laughs> We started by cleaning that mating surface and removing that stubborn sump pocket. This is warm. Is it? <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay, so I got this all cleaned off as much as I think I'm gonna do with the grinder. Now I'm trying to get this sump box out. Looking at the keel, it looks perfectly flat. And looking at the bottom of the boat, it looks perfectly flat. But I don't know if there's like a slight curve one way or the other. So I figure let's lay a piece of wood across that's straight and see if it actually is. Because if it's actually flat across here, then we can just make sure that's perfectly flat across the bottom and then we know it'll match up. I think I've sanded enough. I don't think it'll. That looks Sweet. pretty dang flat. That makes life Yay. so much easier. I expected it to have like a bit of a bow to it. It's perfectly flat all the way fore and aft. That makes it easy. We'll just, when we glass up the bottom of the boat, if it's high or low anywhere, we can just use a piece of wood or whatever, straight edge and stick it up there. And if it's high or low, we know exactly where. And that way we'll get a very nice seal very nice. Very nice. That's awesome. I mean, obviously, we're still going to use, you know, a couple gallons of 5200. <laughs> but. That'll be great. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you can see, like, you can see under it in some places. So there's definitely going to need to be a lot of sealant used as there was from factory. And that plan will be the same? Yep. Sweet. Our keel is bleeding rust. 
It's pitted cast iron, which means the best way to mitigate this cancer is through media blasting. You know how much we love our angle grinders, but this is just beyond that. So we called in the big guns and they'll be here in the morning. Today's unboxing is my new laptop. Thanks to you guys. This is an open box from Best Buy. Charger, not much else in there. I like the box already. Ooh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Brett, you can edit this video with that With computer. my new laptop? So if you guys like this video, give Brett a thumbs up. <laughs> the reason we got this one is because Jade has had a very similar version of this computer. She got it three years ago for college, and it is a, it's a workhorse. The thing's awesome. We thought, you know what? We like it so much, let's get the new version. This is the Razer Base 15 4K, that's something like that. Oh. This one's my computer, our first Razer. It's kind of fun and exciting, I'm feeling super grateful because the story behind this computer, I used all of my scholarship money, like my scholarship paid for my tuition and then like a little bit extra. And I used all of it to buy this computer plus the following semesters. <laughs> and it was the most expensive thing we owned. It cost more than our car. I didn't have a car, we only had one car. It cost double what the car cost. It was a huge thing to get this computer. And I've worked so hard. I've spent so many hours on this thing. Through school, through working as a photographer, and then every single, everything that you guys have ever seen come from us has come from this. To get the new computer, to have right beginning it, now we have two of them, to keep making these videos and just doing all of it. It's awesome. How far we've come from when we bought this thing. It was a good investment. I'll say that much. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching our videos and giving us a reason to make more videos and to make better videos and to tag team in them. Dang it, I always do that one. <laughs> no, I can, I can totally hear the melody there. That's awesome. You're good enough for sure. This is Dave. I don't think he realized what he was getting himself into by befriending us, but no take backs, Dave. We're all in this together now. Dave owns a media blasting company. He and his son will blast the keel with high pressure air and grit to annihilate the rust. It's a lot like sanding, but without the sand or the paper. They just finished up sandblasting our keel. They said they used 500 pounds of media. In comparison, they used 200 pounds when they did a 37 foot boat yesterday. So, holy cow. While they're cleaning up, we're gonna go get everything ready. We are going to mix our epoxy together and add in our silica and get it ready to go because we are going to fare the keel to fill in all the little pits and divots and everything. We immediately started sealing the keel to ward off the iron's ever-present need to oxidize. We are using a thickened epoxy to fill in every nook, pit, cranny, and crevice to ensure that our keel is as aerodynamic as the USS Enterprise.
got our barrier to mix in here. It's a two part A and B epoxy. So here's our color. So now we have to let it cook for like 10 minutes and then we can paint it on. Thanks for watching. Now that our keel is prepped and ready, it's time to do something about the bottom of the boat. Subscribe and join us next week for that adventure. To hold our sump box up, Jade has the really casserole dish casserole of <laughs> brownies. Yeah, we should make some of those. Wait, do that again. Let's get in slow motion. Here, just pretend you're slow motion.